I'm now joined by one of the finest Division I college baseball coaches on the East Coast. He has nearly 800 career wins, including over 200 here at Ryder. He has led the Bronx to two conference titles in the last five years. Please join me in welcoming Coach Barry Davis, Ryder head baseball coach. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, no, thanks for having me. No problem, Coach. And it's, it's good to see you not busy running around. <laughs> I know, ironically, you just came in from running around. I know you just came in from practice. But, uh, man, you've been traveling a lot with this team. You've covered pretty much the entire East Coast from North Carolina to Virginia and South Carolina, which I was lucky enough to join you and the team on. What is traveling with a Division One team like? Is it is it something you get used to, or does it become old after a while? Well, I think you know you've been I've been doing this for quite a quite a while, and every every spring we we do this. Um, mm -hmm. you, you go out. I think at first, initially it's it's exciting, you know, because it's early in the season. Guys want to want to get going, and um, you know you know they're excited about the season, the games, the early games. And then as as it kind of it, it continues, I would say at the end of the of the last trip, you start to feel like you need to get home. And uh, you know, I think we felt that a little bit at Campbell. It was a good time for us to get back and uh, start playing. The weather starts to get better around here, and uh, so it, it it's good. I mean, we get used to it. We like it. I think it helps us in the long run. You know, because you're going to play some big games on the road, and certainly prepares us for that. And after all that traveling, and after 23 games this season, the team sits now at 13 and 10. Now. There's a lot of baseball left to be played, but how do you feel about that sitting on 13 and 10 right Well, now? I think, you know, you consider the teams we've played, you know, and the competition that we've had, uh, and, and the majority of them on the road. Uh, I, I feel good about the record. I, I think, the, the mo most importantly, how are we playing? And I think at times we look like we're going to be a really good, really good team. Uh, there are some things that we need to continue to work on, and I think that's what a season allows you to do. I mean, I think the good teams always seem to get better as the year goes on, and hopefully we'll be one of those types of teams. But I'll take 13 and 10, and uh, we've got a big series coming up this weekend with Canisius, and we have two tough midweek games uh, this week against Seton Hall and Maryland. So, again, tough road. These next five games will be real competitive. And speaking of competition, conference play, as you mentioned, just began. Do your players especially look forward to playing MAC teams or, yeah, as opposed to non-conference opponents? Well, I think it's natural. You know, to you know, those games are the most important games, and, and I think you know the emphasis certainly on those games. There's a little bit more because those are the games that are going to get you to where you want to go. It's going to get you in the MAC championship, MAC tournament, uh, could potentially get you into an NCAA tournament. The midweek games are important because they are games, and you want to win the games you play. But to answer your question, I think that the, the, you know it's it's natural, only natural where guys their their intensity level is a little bit better uh, on the weekends. However, this week, you know, we're, we're going to be, you know, the David uh, at Seton Hall and at Maryland. So certainly I think we'll be ready to play those games as well. And your players have certainly shown a lot of enthusiasm thus far this season because they have outscored opponents 122 runs to 80. That's a differential of 42 runs. Well, a lot, I mean, that's, that's sort of a statistic that uh, can, you can use however you want to use. We've lost a, a, very, uh, a, a lot of one-run ball games. And we've won some games, you know, with you know where we've outscored them uh, significantly. I guess. I mean, this this past weekend we won 13 to one. I think was was one game Radford series we had uh, a big a big series. So that statistic I, I don't really pay attention to too much. But at the end of the day, wins and losses is probably more important. Now, uh, you know, the bat, the bats have certainly come alive. But one thing I remember talking to you in the off season that you wanted the team to improve on was pitching. Now, let's go back before the season began. Okay, you haven't played Norfolk yet. What if I told you by April 1st, your number one starter in the rotation, Tyler Smith, would have 39 strikeouts and just six earned runs. Your second guy in the rotation, Kurt Soa, would have a five and one record with 24 Ks. And your third man, Mike Murphy, 23 Ks, and he would hold the sixth ranked team in the nation in USC to one earned run on five hits. What would you say? I would say that I would be very happy with that. Um, I think I knew what I had in Tyler, and I know what Michael uh, Murphy's capable of because I've seen it. I think Kurt is the one, the factor of the three that we needed to be good, that needed to be able to go out and give us a chance to win, and, and he's done that. Now what we have to do is Tyler's got to continue to produce, and, and I, there's no reason why he shouldn't. Mike has got to be, you know, he's becoming a little bit more consistent lately, so I like that, and if Kurt can continue to develop, we'll have three pretty good pitchers on the weekend. Last question before I let you go. How do you want this team at the end of the season to be remembered? Well, this team was, a, was, was last year a young team. We didn't, we only lost one senior 
position player and uh, really got our whole pitching staff back. And I think that the, the thing that, that I would remember, hopefully, is that this team has made a big jump from 2012 to 2013 and in number of wins, in, number, in, in maturity, in how we handle ourselves, the ability to grow up, be able to handle some adversity a little bit better. And I think at the end of the year, is it a team that's going to be able to win the MAC championship? And I think we have the ingredients to do it. We said that early in the season, and I can see where we can be that kind of team. So that's what I would like to see. Going to make it, try to make it three conference championships in six years. Ryder head coach Barry Davis, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, Jim.